one of the most amazing things about living in Wales, or the UK in general. However remote it may feel, wherever you are, you're never more than a few minutes from some ancient remains or ruins. Well, hello and welcome. This week in Wales, luckily the lockdown has eased and we've managed to get a few days away in Bluestone Resort in Pembrokeshire, West Wales. It's pretty good, it's self-catering, so we don't have to go near anybody, so that's pretty good. But the main thing, as mentioned at the start, wherever you stay in Wales, or the UK in general, you're always close to some ancient remains or settlements. However remote it may feel, there's always something, there's always some history around you. And Bluestone is an ideal example. By the way, I forgot to mention where Bluestone gets its name from. Just north of Bluestone are the Priscelli Hills. And that's said to be the location for many of the stones, the Bluestones, hence the name, of Stonehenge. Apparently, many were quarried in the Priscelli Hills and basically dragged 180 miles to Stonehenge. Hopefully, I'll be going there and having a look at that tomorrow and do a follow-up video. But anyway, get on with our little adventure around Bluestone. Well, slap bang in the middle of Bluestone, hidden in the trees, with people walking only a few metres that way, is this, Newton North Church. The evidence shows it dates back to the early medieval period, to the 12th to the 14th century. It's an amazing sight. The dedication of the church is unknown, but there's also evidence that was uh, a religious settlement here before the Normans built the church. There's a spring not far away, and many springs and wells were considered to be holy or spiritual in the pre-Christian days. Just five minutes from where we're staying in Bluestone, on the outskirts of the park, you'll find this. Some more medieval remains. This time, it's Castle Koch. Like Candleston Castle, even though it's called a castle, it's not actually a castle, it's a fortified manor house. In its day, it must have been an impressive building. It's three stories high, and apparently it had its own moat around the place. What is amazing about places like this in Wales and the UK is that they're not publicized at all. They're quite difficult to find. This must be one of the old staircases. Unfortunately, it's been bricked up. So we're gonna to continue to explore this area around Bluestone Resort in Pembrokeshire. And we're gonna join an old pilgrimage path which leads to St. David's apparently. And Mel's gonna join me for that part of the trip. So 
Let's go. So now I'm leaving Bluestone, walking down to the old pilgrim's path called the Knight's Way, which leads to St. David's. And guess who's joined me? <laughs> it's Mel. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know why, because it's windy. It and looks it's like gonna it's going to rain. And he's taking me down a deep, dark woods. Oh, yeah. So you're either the Gruffalo <laughs> or you're going to be hurting oh, me this, this in the wind. woods. <laughs> okay. Should we walk? Anyway, we're going down to the pilgrim's path the night's way, okay. which goes to St. David's, but I'm not going to make you Don't walk. push me away. I'm not going to make you walk all that way. Oh, you better. <laughs> St. David's, how many miles is that? <laughs> A long you way. probably would. <laughs> So now we're on the pilgrim's path, which is known as the Knight's Way. St. David's that way. Are you coming, Mel? Yeah. Pilgrim's <laughs> Progress. Where are we going? Just to the side of the path is meant to be Blackpool Iron Furnace. And I've been looking for about 20 minutes and I can't find it. There's a river, so obviously they needed water. And I've been in these woods, everything's really overgrown. And I'd, uh, I have one more look. It's pretty much overgrown and I walked through the woods as far as the river, but I couldn't find any remains of the iron furnace dating back from the 1700s. Mel wouldn't come in, so it was too creepy and overgrown. She does have a point. So I was in the woods looking for the remains of the iron furnace for about 20 minutes, and <laughs> When I came out, Mel's been standing here, she's been going to the woods. But she's recorded this on her phone. I'll insert it here. When your husband disappears into a wood and you don't know where he is and he's left you in the middle of nowhere, the joys of being a travel vlogger and having a husband is a bit of a beep. That's charming, wasn't it? Anyway, Mel, we've got one more stop. We're going to the old hill fort just on the edge of Bluestone. That'll be it then, okay? Come on. <laughs> so now we're heading to our last stop on our little tour, which is at Hilltop Fort. Locally, they've marked it down as an Iron Age fort. But when I was doing a little research last night, they've got it down well, the schedule of ancient monuments said it was actually dating from the 11th century. That was early Norman construction, uh, a ring work, a wooden ring work overlooking uh, the valley. So let's go take a look. So I've made it up to the top of the hill and this is the hilltop fort. Like I said, down there they describe it as Iron Age, whereas Cadu describe it as dating from the early medieval period. It's called, it's spelt M-I-N-W-E-A-R, Minware Ringworks, but apparently the locals call it Minna Ringworks, and the area of the woods called Minna. I wanted to clarify how it's pronounced, Minware or Minna, and I asked a few locals, <laughs> and they had no idea. They, had, they hadn't heard of the place, so that was helpful. But anyway, let's have a look. You can definitely see the, the bank here, and this is the ditch. And this is how Cadu describe it. The monument comprises the remains of a well-preserved castle ringwork, which dates to the early part of the medieval period, AD 1066, to 1485. 
the earthwork is circular, 28 metres in diameter, and the surrounding bank is approximately 2 metres high, external, uh, 2 metres high externally, and 5 metres wide. The external ditch is 1 metre deep and is about 5 metres wide. That sounds right. But anyway, the main point, they say it's early medieval, whereas older maps and older signs said it was an Iron Age hill fort. Personally, I would go with the more up-to-date information from Cadu. And as I come round the far side of the ringwork, this, this is the steep ravine they mention, going down to the, the little river, the brook, So that concludes our little tour around Bluestone Resort in Pembrokeshire and we wanted to just show how interesting, how much history there is in any part of Wales or the UK as well. It may look remote but there's signs of life and the landscape may seem natural but it's not. There have been people digging around here for thousands of years but anyway as you can see Mel's gone back because we've got a storm coming in and she's gone back for a cup of tea to the apartment and I think I'll join her. So until next time, that's a bye from me and a bye from an absent Mel who should be putting the kettle on now.